Hello, I'm Candace Miller. I'm the Macomb County Public Works Commissioner. And we've been doing some educational videos. And today, we're doing a video of the Clinton River Spillway Weir, the weir on the spillway. And what that is, when the Clinton River Spillway was built back in the early 50s as a flood prevention device, in other words, it's man-made, mankind dug this whole spillway out from the Clinton River in Mount Clemens all the way down to the mouth of Lake St. Clair. And they did that because during the springs, especially with the heavy rains, for many years, you'd have huge amounts of flooding that would occur in Harrison Township, Clinton Township, Mount Clemens, uh, as the Clinton River made its way down toward the mouth of Lake St. Clair. So it is working, but as part of that, they installed a weir. And you can see behind me the water running. Uh, of course, we've had a lot of rain in the spring here of 2017. And you see the water running, so you can see the different elevations of the water. The other thing that you can see is you see there's a bunch of uh, wood and uh, logs in that debris that have gotten snagged on the weir. That's a normal thing. We're just about to have a contractor come and pull all of that off of the weir. And one of the things that we're doing, uh, about uh, 15, 20 years ago, there was an inflatable weir adhered to the top of the weir that was built back in the 50s. And the inflatable weir is just as it, as it says, it's inflatable. It's like a bladder kind of a thing that you uh, pump air into. And then you're able to control the water spilling down the spillway when there's not a lot of rain, when the water levels go down, you, you raise the weir and you let mother nature make her way down the Clinton River the way that she naturally wants to do instead of spilling this water into the spillway. But then in the heavy rains, you let you deflate the weir, you let the water spill out of the Clinton River down the, down the Clinton River spillway. Anyway, it has not been operated. The inflatable weir has not been operated for a long time. And we're about to raise the weir. We are going to make it work the way that it was designed to work as a flood control uh, piece of apparatus as well as helping to flush out the lower parts, the lower reaches of the Clinton River. So we're very excited about getting it operating again. We've been working on it. It does work. We're, we're about to start operating, as I say, just the way that it was intended. There was quite a few millions of dollars that was spent those years ago to, uh, to install this uh, inflatable weir, and it does work. So all we have to do is we have to make sure we keep cleaning the debris off the top of the weir. Obviously, you can't be raising that, and, and when you have debris like this, there's always a potential of puncturing the uh, inflatable weir, but it's really heavy, uh, heavy gauge rubber, so it, uh, we, we think it's okay, and uh, we're gonna be using it. But anyway, the Clinton River Spillway is a public ass access, asset uh, owned by you, the public, and we are doing a number of different projects in the Clinton River Spillway. Uh, to really optimize uh, what Mother Nature, and of course with some help from man here, has done over the years. And uh, this is just another part of it, another part of the project uh, that we're doing of trying to help uh, optimize our beautiful natural resources that we uh, are so fortunate to live among uh, here in Macomb County. So thanks for joining us. 